welcome Brad Let's Meet Our guest tonight. He plays Ben Edwards in the terminal list. Please welcome Taylor Kitsch. James Reese in the terminal list, it's Chris Pratt. It's Chris Pratt. <laughs> Taylor Kitsch and Chris Pratt. It's Chris Pratt. He knows where it's at. Oh, yeah. <laughs> We are in a good mood. That's a way to sweat through the entire interview. We're in a good mood. Woo! <laughs> uh, a little uh, bit of a... Is this a little bit of a birthday hangover? Because we got... It was your birthday yesterday. Happy birthday, Have you been doing this ever since? Is that why the party mood? <laughs> That's right. It's my birthday week. I'm partying all week. For sure. How do you celebrate your birthday? Are oh. you into it? Listen, uh, big dad energy. Yeah. You know, we do all kinds of hardcore stuff. Mm. Uh, I went golfing. Ah! Oh, yeah! How did oh you play? Oh, my God. Yeah. How did you play? You want to know the truth? I had the best round of my life. Stop. Did you yeah. really? It was, yes, I did. For me. It's not as good as you. He's a good golfer. I shot an 85, which for me, that's pretty yeah, good. That's good. That is exceptional for me. But the weird thing is... I could only dream is... of that. <laughs> this is the, and this is the, uh, God's honest truth. I shot a 42 on the front and a 43 on the back as I was turning 43. Stop. <laughs> Spooky. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's my time. I'll see you later, right. guys. <laughs> it's like the best cardio I've had in a long time. Feel my. Hey, yeah. God. Water. You could. You could. What's Water. that? Is? Can we get a yeah, defibrillator for the break? <laughs> Um, oh. Taylor, I gotta say this. I, are you, you're a good golfer, but I want to talk to you about this. Incredible. You made, oh yeah. Incredible. Are you, is he actually? Yes. yes. That's really annoying. Because he played hockey his whole life, so he's you know got why? Yeah. You know why? Yeah. It's Taylor made. Yeah. Oh! oh. Damn. Two, three, come on. <laughs> Mike Pack. <laughs> Mike Pack. Oh no. It's Mike Pack. <laughs> <laughs> it's Mike Pack. Come on. Woo! I uh, genuinely am struggling now. Um, <laughs> you no just more. made a big move. So you, you've moved to Montana. Montana. Now, how is that? I sort of... Reggie spends a lot of time out there in Montana. Are you not scared of the wildlife? Is it true you've been having encounters mm. with grizzly bears? Amazing encounters. Um, I love wildlife photography. I have an adventure van. We go backcountry. There's three of us that went backcountry into, Wy into Wyoming. And what you're looking for are carcasses. <laughs> yeah. Really? <Damn. laughs> carcasses! <laughs> Two, three, <laughs> four! <laughs> so oh, <in> people! <laughs> Two, three! <laughs> Sorry, this is I'm derailed. Uh, Sorry, this is, this is really actually, he told me this. And it's so hang on, you're looking awesome. for carcasses, why? Uh, so how you find a carcass is you're looking for birds, right? right. That's, they want the carcass. Sure. So I turn this corner in the backcountry and I see, no joke, probably 50 birds, which is crazy. So we go and we park 150 yards away. My buddy goes, I'm going to just walk up. I can't see anything with the binocs. Oh, and no. let's just see, you know, I'm just going to walk. We have a sandwich. We're watching our buddy. <laughs> yeah. 
So he gets probably 25 yards to the carcass. And I'm not kidding. He's running back to our Jeep and the van. We had two. Uh, like last the Mohican style into <laughs> oh. screaming. No. And me and my other buddy are like, ah, oh, he's getting his cardio in. <laughs> I literally said that as a joke, like he was just screwing with us. And by the time he gets to us, he's saying grizz, grizz, Stop. grizz, grizz. And they were probably 20 yards from him, all on their hind legs, and there's <gasps> three of them. No. Yeah, you don't want to get in between a carcass and a family of Grizz, by the way. No. I don't think you I want don't that. even want to call him Grizz. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no that's, nicknames. That's how out of the loop I am yeah. on this. Yeah. I will maintain calling them Grizzly Bears. Yeah. That's fair. Mm. <laughs> Formal. Correct. Yeah. So we get in the Jeep and we get fairly close. And we had an amazing, brilliant encounter for 30 minutes watching them. And this is one of look, my favorite look shots. Look at oh. this photo taken by Taylor Kitsch. Look at this. This is incredible. It's amazing. Yeah, it's awesome. It's so, like, that is, that a two is. two year old, yeah. That's a two year old bear? Yep. We wow. call it a grizz, but don't we call him grizz. <laughs> I, I, wow, you're already. I blew up. that six by eight feet in my house. Yeah, it's. <sighs> yeah, we're pumped about that one. Wow. Now, one thing you both have in common, you both had a moment in your lives where you lived in your cars hey. when you were starting out. Taylor, you lived in a Pontiac Firefly. Yeah. In LA, what Roomy. did you learn? Wow. What did you learn about room, car yeah. life? What tips have you got for uh, us? Tips to living out of your car. Because this show's going to end in April. You're I might end up there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> uh, I would drive around LA looking for streets without street lights. Very smart. Yep. Alleys, not safe, but dark. Yeah. <laughs> Sleep better. Yeah. Um, and it was actually quite convenient because if I'd sleep in the driver's side, and if you got to take a leak, you just literally just open the door, go, <laughs> shut, Z's. Wow. Brilliant. And Chris, you, you worked as a, as a bartender. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I imagine you being a very good bartender. Oh, wow. Well, well. I bet you were like Louis Charmstrong up there, right? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you were, were you a good fun bartender? I was more of a fun boy. You know, what I lacked in sort of the necessary multitasking and, you know, organizational thinking I made up for in free drinks and gregarious behavior, you know? Really, would you give away free drinks? Oh, yeah, periodically, yeah, I would. I mean, there, there were, actually, there was one time I, uh, <laughs> this is funny. I had a, I forgot about this. I had a, I had a woman come into the bar who looked exactly like my mom. And, and I was like, that's so wild. She looks and sounded exactly like my mom. It was a strange thing. And then she ordered a white Russian. And this is a drink that my mom would drink as a white Russian. She always drank beer, but if she drank a drink, she would drink a white Russian. I was like, this is crazy. My, this lady looks like my mom, and she ordered my mom's drink. And I told her, I said, ma'am, you look exactly like my mom. And she drinks white Russians. As long as you're drinking white Russians, they're on the house. And she wow. was like, really? Wow, OK, great. So I give her, I completely overserve her white Russians <laughs> through the course of the night. And as it was closing time, the lady goes, I just want to tell you something. Oh, and projectile vomits, God. cream, Kahlua, and oh. vodka all over the bar once. And then it was so much she had to do it again. Oh. Went all <laughs> filled, filled the ice bucket. Oh, in the, oh the stainless my God. Seat. She just vomited. <laughs> I was like, that's exactly <laughs> like my mom. mom. <laughs> Stick around, what we need to see when we come back, everybody. Hey guys, get ready for a great summer holiday. You're gonna